S400. This vehicle got shipped all the way from California to Baltimore. Uh, it doesn't start. It's a 2010 and it's got only 77,000 miles. So we're going to show you. Uh, we're going to go through the step to diagnose it. Uh, and then uh, we'll show you what you need to do when these cars don't run and how to, what to look for and what systems. Um, a lot of times we're getting people uh, contacting us and saying, hey, my car doesn't start. Uh, but we would, you're going to get to see what modules, where you need to go and read the codes so that you can do the diagnostic report if you have the right tools. Um, we're more than happy if you send us the report and what the modules are coming up. can usually give you a good idea of what's going on with your vehicle. So let's take a look at this car. Okay, so what you'll need is a scanner though that can read uh, full codes from all the control modules on a Mercedes. So on this one, we are connected to the vehicle and there's four modules where you want to read codes. The first one is going to be the engine control module, uh, ECM, sometimes called EC, ECU. You want to turn on the ignition. Okay, so here we're, we get the ECM. We're going to read full codes. Okay, so you can see here, we have a few onboard power supply voltage is too low on board in this case is the 12 volt battery it's stored because the battery had died the the battery that's in the back not the hybrid battery um you can see though that's stored so you can clear that once you put a fully charged battery here we have this code that says communication with control unit electrical machine a has a malfunction and then this other code right here uh similar to that incorrect data received from the electrical electric machine A. So these two codes that you see right here, they indicate that you have a problem with a power electronic module. And what the power electronic module is this unit right here. Is this unit that goes right on the side of the transmission and this connects to the electric machine, which the electric machine is a big coil that right behind the torque converter, you have a big uh, coil that's also uh, that's basically the hybrid system that helps the car not only starts the engine so because this vehicle does not have a starter that is the starter um, but also when you're under hard acceleration that kicks in and helps the vehicle um, you know it gives it some extra power so this this is the part that's wrong it's faulty on this vehicle and that's what has to be replaced but uh, we don't want to just finish here this uh, we want to look at a couple more three more modules and the other one that we want to look at is the power electronic module itself the part that I just showed you that has its own module so sometimes you just click on that and let's read codes from that if you cannot read codes from it if you get an error message right here uh, it, it, it still indicates a problem with that module uh, the circuit board is not responding at all in this case, um, you can see here we have current codes still, okay? Uh, you can see phase W, phase V, and phase U, they all have malfunction. They are stored codes, but even if you clear these, they're gonna come right back. And there, uh, what that is, is inside the part right here, inside of the power electronic module that I showed that connects to the electric motor. Is this part and this part is what actually goes bad um, there's the contacts right inside there that they just disconnect and that they usually um, they, they burn up actually they, they just, that's what happens um, you can't you have to replace that part you can open this and replace it um, this or you can buy the whole unit you can uh, you can buy the power electronic module at the dealership, these usually go from around seven thousand um, dollars. To have them do the repair, it's going to be around ten to eleven thousand for most dealerships. Um, but you can find these um, refurbished, and uh, or you can just try to repair it yourself if you have the skills. So here we have the codes that you can see here. Um, another one that I, two more that I check is the DC to DC converter. This unit right here is part of the hybrid system and 
this converts the, the 12 volt to 120, 130 volts DC to DC um, current. Uh, and it's used so like if the hybrid battery drops uh, below 28, between 15% and 28%, this DC to DC converter will try to uh, start it using or charge it using the 12 volt battery. You can see here we have codes, but these codes again, communication with the electric control unit, A has malfunction. These codes are the same codes that we had in the engine control module. So they're still pointing to a bad power electronic module that I just showed you. Um, at the high voltage of the onboard electric system is too low. Now here's the, the thing that you gotta be very careful with these, is that when you see this error, the good thing is that it's stored. Um, but that means that the high voltage battery can, can the voltage was too low at some point we don't know exactly when that happened but uh, what happens a lot of times this car sit for a long time and then if fail, the power electronic module fails then the vehicle um, takes a long time to get these cars to find somebody to actually fix them so what happens they sit for uh, they'll sit at least weeks but if not months in some cases and during that time the voltage for the hybrid battery it starts to um, decrease and if it decreases too much below 15% uh, then you have problems because the vehicle is not going through there's no way for you to um, uh, to really charge those uh, that hybrid battery so right now I'm going to the um, battery management system or the BMS this is uh, the hybrid battery I'm gonna read the codes here Okay, communication with electrical machine A, so it's again pointing us to that same part. But you can see here, control unit high voltage has performed the system shut off. It's stored, and that happens when there's a fault. It's just gonna shut the high voltage battery down. Um, and you can see there's a few other codes, uh, but what, what will happen in most cases, these codes, you, they can be cleared. Uh, there is one thing that, that you should um, check though on the high voltage, uh, battery and check the voltage of the battery itself you can check the, uh, the, the voltage for all the different cells but if you go to general um, values let's uh, look at this right here um, and what I am looking for is the voltage of the high the voltage of um, high voltage battery so it's at 130 if it was um which is it should be good in this case but if that drops be below like 125 that's basically uh below that uh, roughly be below the 15 percent um charge uh, charge state for the hybrid battery and once it reaches 15 percent it's really hard to to charge that hybrid battery if, even if you use the you know the power, the 12 volt power to the hybrid battery, to the 12 volt battery in the back, and then try to try to go to force charge the hybrid battery. Um, it, it's, in most cases, um, you might not be able to succeed with that. So that's something to keep in mind and check because we have had a few cars where they fail for power electronic module, but because they sit so long, the voltage of the hybrid battery drops so low that. The, the hybrid battery then itself cannot be charged anymore and it needs to be replaced. And replacing the hybrid battery, it's a relatively easy job, but uh, the problem with that is that um, at, at, let's say at a dealership, that's about $15,000 repair. So somebody that initially this fails and they have to pay 10,000 or so to, to fix that power electronic module, they fix that and then they end up having issues with the hybrid battery another fifteen thousand dollars if you do it at a dealership now if you use refurbished parts you can get that uh, the power electronic replaced for um, under five thousand and same thing with a uh, um, hybrid battery you can find a replacement typically for under five thousand so um, but yeah that's it that's uh, this vehicle got shipped all the way from California and this is going to be driving back and this car will be taken back to California uh, once we do replace that module and and um, and that's it. Yep. Thank you for watching